porn company with whiskey dick. I mean, it just doesn't, it's, you know. You ready to go, Alpha? Alpha? His, his, his recording right. drive is loose. It's loose. Your microphone's not ignited there. Okay. Uh, what I said was when Atomic said his line that I finally got the recording drive working. So the first mm. thing people are going to hear is Atomic talking about dicks. Oh, the whiskey dick oh, thing. Sweet. Uh, all right. So for those watching at home, which is everyone, uh, YouTube friends, the first minute of the show, you're going to lose it. Nothing happened. I just, my recording drive fell out of its USB slot. That's where we're at right now. Are you talking Do about it. eggs and whiskey? Delighted welcome. Uh, we are gathered here tonight to wait for Sputnik to hit the resub button live on stream. So literally, there it is. Done. Hey, look at that. He's been waiting an hour to do just that. How do you resub every week? <laughs> uh, you know, a lot of money. That's that's just what I do. I, I edit um, emojis and resub every week. Uh, so I tried rebalancing our sound here tonight. So we might sound wonky for a little while. I'll have to live change it, but. Going back and trying to fix all of the sound for all of my shows because apparently I am louder than the cast on a regular Are basis. You? That is what I am told. I don't watch my own show. I was there when it happened. I do not need a recap. What you should do, get all the things into one channel, click the normalize button. <laughs> does, it, does it itself almost. <laughs> Why, why does it look like the thinking emoji is you sucking on your finger? Yeah, we are. I've already heard that <laughs> it's one. It's like smelling his fingers. What yeah. it looks like. Yeah. Thanks, guys. You literally can't just do the AP gaming real cool with the sunglasses on it. You gotta. But the, it doesn't sit your eyes. It's like you got them like a like a dad who puts them on his forehead. I actually have an AP gaming real sunglasses emo on Discord that I could put on Twitch. I just don't know. What I want to do. All right, chat is saying levels seem fine, so I guess that's where we're at. Drummer boy, I want to say you're correct. I could do that thing that you just spoke about, which is to put everything onto one channel, except what the fuck did you head. do to my? I don't know how head. to do it. What the hell did you do to my? You so guys have to stop fucking with my emotes, Jesus. It's the it's the channel point thing. I'm aware, but stop. There's a there's a squash one. Okay. Atomic, did you change your name to Atomic Warsmith? Yes, he did. I did. That was part of my intro spiel, was that Atomic's... Uh... You missed a P in there. <laughs> you know, I thought about putting the P in there, but I didn't. Mm. Atomic has changed his Twitter to Atomic Warsmith. I'm not going to update his name on the overlay with it. Because it would be too fucking long. The font would be... It's, it's like 6 point font. You Just wouldn't be able to read it. in there. Well, yes. my old but Twitter handle in the Discord, not in the, in the description section mm. of the video, you can go down there and click and find him. So if you really need to find Atomic, you can get to him. All right, you can get to him real easily. We've also uploaded his uh, user profile from all the dating sites, including his personal address, his social security number. If you need to get to Atomic, we can guide you there. All right, GPS. <laughs> he he has the uh, highest rated profile on ChristianMingle.com. Pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah. Pretty amazing. I like long walks on the beach, um, artillery, and single malt scotch. And uh, Jesus. And heavy metal. Yeah. Hmm. Jesus is really good at poker. You wouldn't believe it. Like he's what's yeah. taking so much of my money. He, if, if the stories are been believed, he can come back from the dead. He's he's got to have like pocket aces all the time. Pocket aces all the time. <laughs> I, I was going to say something. I decided you, not to you, say you it. You know what he says? You can turn twos into aces, just like you can turn water into wine. That's just see how what it you works. what you don't understand is he, him like destroying the tables in the temple. It was really just over a really you know, somebody was cheating at a game of poker, and he just just like just table flipping like tabletop simulator. He's like fuck that noise. Mm -hmm. I heard, listen. There was I, there was a famous painting about it, but he didn't like it very much, so he turned it into dogs. I went I went to high school with a guy named I went to high school with a guy named Jesus, and we used to make those jokes all the time. He's like, "Look, I'm about to just like whatever." He's like, "I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna cut you guys," and then like 
the high school did like a you know costume thing one year and he came dressed as Jesus. I was like, look, motherfucker, you can't That's say sad. that you're tired of the Jesus jokes and then come dressed as Jesus to a thing. It's like I'm not Jesus, I'm Brian. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Follow wow. the cord. Do, do, do. You know what's sad do, do, is that do, 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 the majority do. of my audience is probably not old enough to get that reference. Oh, Life man. of Brian? Come on. Yeah. Pause, Pause, the, Pause, Pause the stream. Python. Pause what the stream and go watch Life of Brian right now. I know you don't want to hear this, but Mon the uh, Holy Grail is not good enough to rewatch 40 times. I mean, uh, it's okay to watch one, two, or three times. It's Look, still better than most of the movies coming out today. Here, here's the thing it. that really I've gets watched me it three times and the third time was on the special edition dvd where they did the entire thing in stop motion lego mm. isn't there i like the one like there's one with commentary isn't there if i'm remembering correctly the whole Probably. purpose of what they did what their comedy was about doing completely random shit that doesn't make sense and now they've become one of the most quotable foundational quotable mm -hmm. it completely defies the entire point I mean, but at the time, you know. Okay, all right. I mean, Life of Brian is worth it just for the whole incontinentia buttocks uh, exchange. <laughs> Biggest dickish. Oh, my God, that is... I got to tell you, if you're going to do uh, a comedy set during that time period, The History of the World Part 1 is the better choice. I like... I like um... Yeah, <laughs> I mean... Yeah, <laughs> hey, uh... You can make a case for that. It is yeah. good to what was oh I'm what was when uh oh gosh one of them one of them passed away and they're like you know we were the first ones to say fuck on television or whatever like we were not now I want to be the first person to say fuck at a funeral yeah the whole yeah. speech is pretty good well like they had like the when they did the like memorial like yeah. I don't know concert or whatever for him they had I don't know if it was actually his ashes but they had his fucking ashes in an urn oh yeah 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 and they like, knock it over and just so like with the Hoover amazing. yeah they uh. They just, I mean, there was, I used to have a bunch of their stuff, like, back, I think it was back when they, right, right before they first put it all on Netflix, and then there's a, they did a, they did a thing back before they put it on YouTube, it's like, and everything's for free on YouTube, for free? What the fuck? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, it's great. Graham well, Chapman, that's who it was. Yeah, Graham Chapman's so... person. John Cleese is a international treasure. We are, Dude, follow him on Twitter. We haven't even gotten to the start of intro is there a monty python anime yet no the drummer boy wow. just for that you got to go first they all have tits and cat ears it's really <laughs> weird <laughs> look if they can make an anime about warships then they made, they being have, animes they have movies, three animes about warships now there's one about tanks so i mean they can yeah they're I don't know if they're running out of ideas. They've got like what. the they got the fate whatever game, but it's all Terry Gilliam art. <laughs> did you did you see that meme going around no, where it's like stop Drummer his boy, wife start and your navy intro. is the best Drummer boy. because okay whatever Drummer boy please if he doesn't want to go I'll go uh, it's, we're uh, eight I minutes just, in and we haven't even talked to a single person yet I just I just make music and put it on the internet um, I've made some more music it's almost on the internet I'm still waiting for art on some stuff. Um, doing some more music today. Tried to make a dragon choir. It didn't work out too well, but it turned into something else. So we could only sing in deep baritones. No, I've, I was trying to trick like um, I've got a whole bunch of like barbecue starting samples. So like the fire flaring up and like that kind of whoosh. So I, like I, stacked a, I stacked a whole bunch of those on top of each other and tried to like use that as half of the vocoder and me speaking in the other half and trying to make words out of it. I like the zone the, if, Sorry. If the song like doesn't end, song. if the song doesn't end with one like a voice actor being like, "All right, we're good to meet in the next millennium." Yeah. <laughs> I, I like that Zonalar gets shut up by two thirds of the cast at once. <laughs> Welcome oh. to our and <laughs> how do you say biannual except for millennia? By millennia. By millennial. By millennia. <laughs> Boomer. Yeah. All right, just we'll, for that, just for that, make Dave go next. We'll see you all when you're Zoomers, okay? <laughs> Look, I got like three no. They're times. called Doomers now. That's what they call. Oh, the Doom Eternal trailer happened. That's for fucking sick. Fucking power sword. I'm into it. Uh, what else did I do? I watched the rest of the Mandalorian. That was great. It's good, um, right? Yeah. 
that last episode though. Yeah. That like the start of that was like probably the most entertaining thing in the entire series though. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to yeah. have to get my free trial on. Yeah, dude. The uh, the Good speeder show. bike, the speeder bike was like right up there with the front, lo- front for I, me. I love I love yeah. that whole conversation. It was great. Yeah. That whole conversation was just great. And when they're shooting the 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 can or the rock or whatever and they're just like <laughs> they bought yeah. <laughs> like, and then they just both silently put their guns away. Like, mm. <laughs> I, li- yeah. I like when he shakes it. <laughs> like, there's something wrong with it. But uh, they just they just put out an image today of the season two cast, which is apparently going to be in the they, fall of this year. Not confirmed. It's not confirmed. Okay. Not confirmed. But because if it there's is, like Bosk is on that list, which Bosk means we're is on that get list. A bounty hunting oh, lizard. There... Uh, well, what's what's her name? Someone Versio from the Battle Battlefront Two campaign, isn't it? Yeah. So. Well, if uh, if if Bosk is on that list, like I wonder if they're gonna bring. Wait, uh, do you mean the do wait? Like, do you mean the lady that was the playable character? Yeah, the lady from yes. the single player campaign. Because they made a huge deal out of her being canon, but then there's like, eh. now bring back Cal Kestis, put him in the Mandalorian, and I'll be like, okay, we're full circle now. I think he's in I'm the in. wrong time period for that to happen. No, nah, just bring a, him back as an old man. Yeah, he would be a, a younger. It, a young adult. I think this happens five years after the fall of the second Death Star. So it is. Throw, yeah, throw it's five in years. Spock and I'm sold. Wow, you're yeah. just gonna infuriate so many people. Bro. Oh, Maybe. also, uh, can't be any worse, Spook. Just getting, any worse. Re- just getting a reminder to shit left, right, and center. Uh, Picard on Amazon is happening in five days. Wait, is it Amazon? I thought it was CBS fucking bullshit streaming thing. Uh, it might be in the U.S., but in Canada, it's Amazon. I'm oh, not. Damn it. I hope I'm, it's on Amazon Prime, then. I'm big I'm, with that. I, I've yep. been kind of Prime. disenfranchised with the whole thing because, like, apparently it's just all, like, Trump and Brexit references. And I'm like, mm. why? 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 Like, uh, like all, all I've heard about all, it is that it starts with them talking about how Data died. All you had to do was be better than Discovery. That's it. And that's that's a very low bar. And it's like, really? This is what we're doing? It's, you still have to also be better than Enterprise. Just... What was the one with the lady? Uh, lady Voyager, Voyager. Voyager. Oh, Voyager. Voyager. So the the only the only episode I remember from any Star Trek like consistently is the Voy- There's a Voyager episode where somehow they get turned into lizards. They yes. bang. Yep. They make a baby lizard race, and they turn back into humans. And they're yep. just like, "All right, let's just leave them to do their own thing now." Yeah, that was like. like <laughs> I remember that because that was like one of the guys on the ship is like a, a captain and the son of a admiral or something, and he wants to go warp ten or warp eleven. He wants yeah. to break the warp barrier. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he and does it, eventually it do them, exactly what you're talking about, and then it turns them into lizards. That's yep. the episode. Uh. You're missing out on the even better storyline, which was a two-parter across multiple seasons where they encounter a race of, like, shapeshifters, and they save the shapeshifters. And then later on, in another episode, they've, they set up this whole canon where, um, you know, like, people who were together are no longer together. There are differences on the ship. Right, and then there's an episode that starts, and you're like, "Why are these two people together? Didn't that thing get destroyed last episode? Like, what what is happening?" It turns out all of those shapeshifters pretended to be the cast of Voyager and went around and went on voyages, and then they got sick because they weren't on their home planet and are dying. They go back and they're like, "Oh, we're not actually the the Voyager cast. We're actually shapeshifting aliens who are dying because we left our world." Wow, man, that was a dumb so that was just laughing. <laughs> Yeah, they were just they were literally laughing, laughing as their heroes, and they oh, were dying so cool. because of it. It was so That's... terrible. <laughs> Listen, Voyager I, I... has a number of really good episodes, and it also has some of the worst <laughs> Star Trek in existence. That, that's. That that's exactly like how I feel about like uh, Supernatural. There's an episode in Supernatural where they go through a portal and end up in re- like the the reality where they're filming the TV show Supernatural. <laughs> well, so, um, doesn't Supernatural have like 47 seasons? So yeah. they I think it's all just like winners. I think it's still happening. I don't. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. I mean, Felicia Day was on. The no, no, no. They, they got their they got their last season, 
uh, which is 15. I'm a huge fan of Supernatural because it is one of the... Still happening, will happen, and always has happened. I think it's just a constant state of being. So they're on the last season. It's a universal law. The last episode of Supernatural was when they killed the cast of... uh, the fucking nerd show. What was that? Big Bang Theory. Yeah. Wow. Uh, no, no, it was uh, Ghost Faces. Mm. Where they, they they killed those guys. Oh, yeah, no, I know exactly. But I tell you what, Supernatural is one of my favorite TV shows of all time. It is legitimately one of the funniest TV shows you could ever watch. Like, it's it's like, you I have to watch it to get the jokes, but it's, it's real. The first season is like the most it's serious garbage. season. It's horrible. Yeah. I got through about half the season and every episode is just like, hey, Dean, let's follow our dad's diary and go to places he's already been and solve crimes he already solved. And he's like, well, Sam, let's go do that. Let's pretend to be law enforcement officials, get arrested for it twice. And for some reason, we aren't in federal prison. I think I think a Danish buddy of mine tried to get me to watch that show like early on. And I was just like fucking what and then i like yeah i just he's like well you got to get past i'm like if there's any show where it's like well you just have to get past like the first terrible i'm like fuck off <laughs> like no Look, I'm, not admit, I, I'm in a, i'm in a good position because i watched it as it was coming out on tv like Dang. the first season and stuff like that when i was in high school and there was nothing else to watch on the farm though we had like three tv stations so i watched that shit i liked it and I kind of like grew along with it. Like I was yeah. there for like every single season or whatever. So one for me, about, it's a little one thing easier. about Supernatural, it's like you can tell time by that show because you know, like uh, there's a certain point in every episode where it's like, oh man, this is the part. Uh, I'll say this. Um, the Wire is the same way. The first half of The Wire, you don't have a fucking idea what mm. is happening on that show. And then at some point, there's like a list where they're like, well, here's all their criminal names and here's all their real names. And now I'm like, oh my God, I can understand what's going on now. Yeah. Ring her bell. That's a guy. He's doing things. He's making big moves. But other than that, mm. that's all I've been watching. <laughs> you know, Dave, let's talk about you. Hey, what up? Um, Nice and easy. Uh, make video games and I make video game porn. And you can follow those at um, just go follow Kinky Fridays on Twitter. That's where we're posting everything. Um, and we're finally starting to get around to actually having all the 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 stuff that makes the porn games porn in the games now. So it's um, it's kind of interesting. Basically, here's the secret. Here's the secret. I worked this out. I was just like, I'm just going to try this. So I released two images uh, and I was like, okay, here's the picture. Like, and they're like cropped. So you can't see the whole picture. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to like put a stripper, like a sticker over the boob. And I was like, Hey, if you want to see the uncensored version of this, join our discord. (laughs) Discord just fucking fills up. (laughs) It's yeah. Just completely like, it was crazy. And then, so now we have this system where like we post like uh, censored versions of the videos and stuff like that on Twitter. And then we're like, hey, come to Discord if you want to see the rest likes, of it. You know? Yeah, I mean, like one of them, one of them has got like, it's crazy. Like we, we, we're a brand new Twitter account and we, every, every single time that we post, we get like um, close to like 50 uh new followers depending on the stuff um so we're sitting at almost 200 followers and we're like a week into this bitch and it's crazy like uh, one of the posts got over 150 likes on it like just and it's still getting likes like every every couple hours i take my phone it's like oh shit that post is still getting likes it's just like i don't know people are thirsty yeah just in case i didn't understand what you were saying Hmm. you're indicating that on your twitter at Kinky Fridays, you do some salacious shit, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, you know, it's... it's. Well, I'm really keen to see where this goes, but, um, you know, we're, we're slow. We're finally... We've got alphas of the games, so they're playable. And hopefully by the end of this month, we'll have, like, betas um with you know all the adult content in there as well and then at the end of february hopefully we'll have two games for release 
like because you know the 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 aim of the company is to make games like really quickly so yeah i'm excited to see where we go with that so anyway that's me brian how's your life the life yeah. of brian uh life of brian is uh it's pretty good yeah sure is i saw uh, you posting some dope food pics yeah i have been posting some dope food pics actually it's kind of funny so uh my, my wife is a a really well-known blogger and um she put up a post today and um at the end of the post she was like oh you know, she she refashions like stuff that she buys from a thrift store clothes for like a dollar and makes them look like something that you would pay a hundred dollars for and mm. um in the post she was like yeah i did this refashion and then um me and the husband went out for dinner and you know this is what we had and here's pictures she's like if you like pictures of these of this food you should follow um my husband's instagram and here's a link and she posted this blog this morning at like i don't know eight o'clock in the morning all day my phone ping so and so is following you ping so and so is following. i gained over a hundred instagram followers in less than a day because of that it was ridiculous but what are you posting? Nothing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Pictures of you like a basic bitch. Basic bitch. That's all I do. Yeah. Um, I uh, read... I thought you were going to say, by the way, my wife goes to Goodwill, buys old paintings and draws monsters in them. I thought you no. were going to say that because that's amazing if she does. No, she doesn't do that. We... Um... We do uh, know a guy, there's a local artist uh, where I live. Uh, he, I don't know if he goes by this anymore, um, but he's known as the Godzilla guy. He might've gotten a cease and desist, but uh, he goes by the Godzilla guy. And what he does is he takes photographs of local landmarks in the city and then puts Godzilla into was, it. Yeah, I was just on Reddit yesterday. Oh, that, that guy. guy? Right, yeah. yeah, it was on front page. Yeah. You're shitting me. Yeah. Oh, we have like uh, three of his uh, things. Uh, in fact, uh, for our wedding, our friend got us a framed picture. Um, there's So there's a famous <laughs> grit company uh, in where I live called Adla Grits. And it's a picture of the Adla Grits building with Godzilla walking around behind it. It's fucking fantastic. Well, maybe on break or while someone else is talking, I'll go grab one off the wall and show it to you guys. But um, apparently, he's just going by his normal name now, Sean McGinnis. Yeah, pretty sure that's, that's how you him. leave your mark, man. That's how you leave your mark. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I didn't even see the Reddit post. That's crazy. But uh, yeah, oh, I read my first manga. Nice. Uh, oh yeah i'm so gonna up. ask about that uh uzu maki okay yeah right. i want to ask about that uh is it the is it the people shaped holes one yeah it's well it's the spirals thing yeah uh that one is so creepy dude it's it's really fucking good and in fact i ordered another one of his called gyo it's like the stench from the deep or something where like all the mm -hmm. fish are coming out of the ocean with robotic legs and like all right here's here's evil. my it's so fucking crazy but it's so good if you want if you want to read good shit right 21st century boys is something that i always recommend to people when they're starting out so it's actually for, it's uh, it's it, long it but it's good like I, I what i want is what i'm really digging about the ones that i've read is that it's all in one fucking book i can just have the book and read through it i don't have to read it online because reading the shit online is annoying i don't have like an ipad um so i'm not going to read on mm -hmm. my phone um i don't want to like search out each fucking issue like give it to me and yeah. like I, in, a, in the u.s they call them trades but what, what's what's the when all the shit is like omnibus NGM, omnibus thank you give me shit like that and i'm in i'll fucking read it you know um, yeah, I'll give you. A, I'll give you a link because 20th Century Boys is just like when I read it, I was like, 
Damn, dude. Why can't there be more of this shit? It's it's real fucking good. Um, yeah. If you liked Mandalorian, you'll probably like Lone Wolf and Cub. Some yeah, stuff. Lone Wolf and Cub is good too. Bro. Desert Desert Punk is also great. Uh, I thought Desert so Punk was fantastic. You me that. That's awesome that you linked me that. But it's a complete collection, so it's all separate, and it's a hundred dollars. It's also, uh, it's also old, but you probably be able to find like, because uh, I don't, I don't own the physical stuff myself because uh, I get it all digital. But yeah. um, I believe that uh, if you were to get one, vo- like the volumes are like this fucking thick. Dude. <laughs> well, <laughs> like, but here, not- me, I'm gonna. Link you. This is the so this is the Uzumaki that I read. Let me. This yeah, is, but it is a mock is like, it's like, like maybe. Chapters. Yeah, it's, it's, it's 20 small. chapters. It's, well, I mean, the book was 650 pages or something like that. Oh, interesting. I didn't realize they sold it in volumes like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's all, it's all in that book. So I was able to, and not only was it all in that book, but also like, uh, I think one or two bonus chapters that he wrote is also in there. So I'm looking mm-hmm. for stuff like that, like an omnibus where it's like, you know, one or maybe two books and it's the whole fucking thing. I don't have to search shit out because like that is annoying as fuck to me. And like it's not some bullshit fan, you know, weeb fan translation, you know, because they have like, what do they call them? Like those scan scanlations. Yeah. What you're looking for is called the Junji Ito Horror yeah. Collection. Yeah. So that's That's it. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has and a collection of all of his stuff because he's yeah, and that's and those are the books that I'm reading. Yeah, um, but I'm looking for other manga, maybe not by him, that isn't like just weird sex stuff or um, like schoolgirl stuff, but like stuff that, and not necessarily not necessarily horror like he writes or psychological horror like he writes, but like, and also not like weird. Like I'm not like you know not like Naruto or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like something interesting. No, that, You're telling me what you that, don't want, but what do you want? I want so, something like like Death Note looks really interesting to me, but the one no. book that they have of it is like two thousand no. pages long. No, 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 no. Don't worry no. about Death Note. Yeah. The okay. problem with Death Note know. is you get in and it's kind of interesting for a while, and then it fucking plummets off a cliff and you're yeah. like maybe it'll get better after a while and then you're but, like okay so something oh, that cliff is actually a continental shelf <laughs> so so something like like his stuff where it's literally like 20 chapters and the fucking story's done i don't need some shit that has 300 fucking chapters and all that like give me a nice closed contained you, story. you're not gonna you're not gonna find a whole lot of that in manga like not to the not to the level of uzumaki definitely not no um, i that's that's why i always recommend people start with 20th century because it's it's basically the the adult shit that you want but right. it's um it's 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 unfortunately the story gets told out like very slowly but it's really really good so that's yeah Apparently, yeah, I mean, Lone Wolf. Yeah. Apparently, Lone Wolf. Looks, Lone Wolf and Cub is like eighteen volumes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you get around. You get like the good stuff is like, you know, over ten volumes in a lot of cases. So, um, well, and that's fine. Yeah. But it does. I don't need like the three hundred volume shit or like something that's still going on. Like, I want to be able to have a physical thing in my hand that I can read, start to finish, and be done. You know what I mean? Yep. But because like there are things like uh, like in, in like some of my favorite like Western comic like my all time favorite Western comic um, shit I cannot remember the author's name but uh, uh, it's a and it might still actually be going on but I I, I haven't kept up with it um, but it's called Sex Criminals and it's fucking amazing it's hilarious um, I highly recommend it and you can get them in they call them trades I guess they also call them omnibuses here but you can get them in like twelve volume books. And basically, the, the premise of the story is there's this woman who is a librarian, and she loves her library, and unfortunately, the library is getting shut down. The, the side thing to that is that she discovered at a younger age that whenever she has an orgasm, time literally stops around her. So, and she can move around and like do shit, but time is frozen. And for the longest time, she thinks it's just her. 
Then in college, or no, not in college, she goes on a date or something with a guy, and they have sex. And after they have sex, she gets off, and he starts walking around. She's like, what are you doing? You can move around. And he's like, wait, you can move around too? And it turns out that time freezes for as long as the refractory period between their orgasms. So in order to save the library, they fuck each other in the bathrooms of banks and then rob the banks while time is frozen. And it's <laughs> fucking incredible. But it's not like done in a lewd way, like a manga style thing where it's like, oh, hi, hi, oh, uh, and all that. It's literally like it shows a picture of a bathroom door and you, and you see like the written word like, uh, and then they come out in time. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not like, I think you it's have... not over, as, as the premise is sexual as it is, it's not an overly sexual thing. I think you have a uh, skewed view of manga to start with. I don't know, man. I went to the fucking manga subreddit and looked at the top recommendations, and it was like, what happens in the dungeon? And it's like this fucking girl going around. It's all sex monsters and people. It sounds like what if Christopher Nolan... It sounds like what if Christopher Nolan want, wrote, uh, what do women want? <laughs> Yeah. Listen, yeah. Oh, by the way, I did a little bit of research, and there is an omnibus version of 20th Century, but there's seven volumes of it because well, there's so much a, of it. But that's okay. Yeah, so. And I linked it for you. It's in the Zoom chat. So. If you need manga recommendations, come to my Discord and ask in Otaku Club. Okay. We will guide they, they, you in the correct garbage direction. Garbage taste. Garbage See, here taste. we go. See, but Dave, that's good. Volume one, right? Mm. Thirteen dollars and forty six cents. Yeah, no. perfect. So I can buy yeah, the other one, one was, and if yeah. I like it, like I'm not, it's not like I'm not sinking a shitload of money into it. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, yeah, I'm that's good. Right um, right why I, are you saying garbage taste, Dave? Let, let me tell you about the the grandest taste. There is there is called a new a new a new manga that I found called Interspecies Review. <laughs> It's no. literally Can we skip? <laughs> no. No. Oh, no. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I'm done. I've talked way too much. I feel no. like just based on the title, I can guess everything about that manga. Okay. And they made an anime out of it. Great. No, no way. An actual anime, not a another anime. Mm -hmm. Some some anime studio just saw the "Show Me What You Got" episode. Of Rick and Morty and made a whole story out of it. Really? That's what that sounds like to me. Atomic, what do you got? Um, well, I've done fuck all. Um, I've had surgery this week and I'm now drinking whiskey, and that's pretty much it. I mean, uh I bet your doctor probably told you not to drink whiskey immediately. They just said I couldn't drink for the first 24 hours. After that, fine. Has it been I asked. 24 hours? Yeah, I had surgery Monday. Or Tuesday. No, Monday. Sorry, Monday. Um, so I'm, I'm good. I'm fine. Um, so I still got a bit of pain, but, you know, they don't give me pain, like painkillers because it fucks with all my other medications. So I've just been, I just kept the slight buzz today and it really helps. So <laughs> that's pretty much been me. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I really haven't done anything this week just because i've been fucking um spoot I, I started reading the thing you sent me and you could definitely tell that this was written by a man who was in the navy <laughs> was like, oh yeah 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 because yeah. the whole way i describe the ship and everything the way you describe everything i'm like this is a man who knows what the fuck he's talking about so yeah. you can you can tell that so i guess that's a good thing no it's a good thing i mean when you're describing the bridge of a ship and all that other stuff whatever it's like oh uh, you know this isn't just like this is what i've seen in a movie it's like no this is described by a man this was his profession at one time <laughs> like you could just tell so um well i'm still plugging away at it so i'll send you more as i feel comfortable ah, i feel free um but no it's good um yeah that's all i've got honestly i have i've done pretty much nothing because they're like hey you can't do like anything other than sitting in a chair so i've done fuck all um that's the spirit eh, you know i mean I mean, especially all the, you know, the anesthesia and everything else, you're like groggy for the rest of the day. And then, I mean, so. Okay. Uh, 
Anything else we need to cover before we start the real show? The show after the show? Are we going to roll for yep. HP? That's what we're starting with. Roll for HP. Yeah. What class did everybody take on level up? So I stayed druid, but I fixed my fucking core stats so I can actually cast magic worth a damn. Stuck with Warlock. Stuck with Angry. Uh, I took uh, Warlock. So I'm Paladin, Paladin and Warlock. So, yeah, yeah. Wait, why are you... Oh. You roll all of your... And you take the better. If it's better than the last time. Right. Right? Wait. Wait, what do I... I just Has that been what we were... That might be the other show. Or, no, wait. No, I was going to say... That doesn't sound you, right. Yeah, when you take... I just roll... Class, you just you just take the hit first die one. plus constitution. Yes, uh, so take plus six plus, plus whatever your constitution modifier is. Okay, so that's eight. That's a pretty good result. Yeah, I'll mm. take that. Eight plus oh, what's my con? Seven now. Four. What did it... Nine. Eh, well, well. Let me fix my... <laughs> D and D Beyond character. Oh, that's right. You guys updated your D and D Beyond sheets. I showed Spoot that you can yeah. add you can add the animals you can weld shape into it on D and D Beyond, but they don't have the bear that he can change into. That's Fuck. very sad. <clears throat> yeah, it's all right. It's because it, there's like ten different bears. Well, you can go into the extras tab and you can add a wild shape thing, and then you can click it, and it'll bring up the sheet with all the stats. So you can add however many. But he's a cave bear, and it doesn't have cave bear on there. It just has black bear and brown bear. So. There are many I'm bears. Up, I'm up yeah, to 60. Too. I'm over 60 HP. This feels amazing. It's like double the HP your old character had. Yeah. Which is, you know. So have we had like a full rest and... So the very first scene is um, Agrim. The last thing you remember is making it to the outside of this uh, Dwarven Fortress, finding out that all of the rations that you had left on your wagon have all been opened and spread all around your campsite and are 90% eaten. Uh, a lot of your stuff has been thrown out of the wagon, but none of it's missing except for your rations. So everybody, please remove any rations that you have on your sheet that you were not carrying with you. Uh, I remember I did buy all of that meat and shit from that dude that came yeah. down. You were carrying that. Yeah. And yes. we... How many times did we go back up to the... Twice. The caravan? We went up twice to the caravan? Was it... It's the only what was left... Correct. ...on the caravan after the second time. Okay. Was, it, right. was it twice or once? I think it was twice. Well, we mm -hmm. went... I thought... Because we went once... You we went, went back... Up, when you delved in the first time, and then you went back. Uh, I, well, I the thought we were time. going to go back, but we ended up sleeping in or staying in that room with the gold. That might be true. I thought there was that whole boogaloo that went down. Okay. Uh, I remember going. Only remember going up the once. Regardless, but. Agram, the last thing you you remember were those events, and then laying down to go to sleep. Uh, you find yourself in a dwarven hold sitting on a throne made Ooh. entirely out of adamantium uh it's got listen we're talking art deco lots of lots of v's lots of geometric shapes all over the place sigils trapezoids. everywhere oh trap listen not just trapezoids but rhombozoids or whatever they're called yeah and a surprisingly large number of elephant murals <laughs> <Warm's> fucking love <laughs> shit cheese um, <laughs> no, none of those other not no elephants, no cheese, none of that sort of stuff. <laughs> um the cushion and armrests that are built into this thing are extremely comfortable. And down the throne stairs off of your dais, uh is just column after column leading outside the range of your dark vision into infinite darkness. Um but you can see just running around in open space is a young girl that maybe looks like Eileen. There are several changes. Uh, she is wearing what I will call bear cosplay now. 
Imagine someone that was wearing armor like you, but full body bear pajamas made out of an actual bear. But so anywhere like where they're sorry, what? Like Midsummer, that movie. I... Well, I'm I'm kind of imagining kind of like you know, <laughs> you, know you know like the uh, the barbarian like armor from like Skyrim. It's mostly like fur, like pelt. Yeah, exactly. It's like that. Anywhere that there wasn't uh, enough was pelt has been reinforced with like a sort of leathery bear leather. I just uh, also like to just add like you, that she's got the bear head half covering yeah. her. My my ex's name is Alien, so this is extremely weird for me. Well, uh, <laughs> I didn't know that before I. It's wrote fine. The name. I just I told her that she's like, what the fuck? Uh, her eye color appears to have changed to be your eye color as well. Hmm. So yellow. Yes. I I mean have I essentially have bear eyes more or less. She's just those not wandering aware. around, uh, apparently making. Playing make believe, basically. Okay. Um, can I get a rough estimate on like how old I think, like, I mean, I I, I don't think did we go over like size or. So, uh, I think it was a dwarven. She, yeah, she's dwarven, a dwarven right? young okay. dwarven girl. She's maybe twenty or thirty. Okay, so super in young. dwarven years, so she's very young. Okay, we're talking. Uh, on a physical maturity level, somewhere yeah, yeah, yeah. around like a six or seven year old. Yeah. Because Agram's 338 for reference. Yeah, she's quite young. All right. Uh, so she's doing the thing that she did before with like, she was like essentially always. Because she was like always uh, She's not just hiding, making no attempt to hide. Okay, she is just wandering between the columns, sometimes popping out and being like "rar," and then like chasing something that you can't see. Okay. Uh, it literally is a child playing make believe right now. All right. Well, I mean, I'm fine with it. Um, I guess like, I'm gonna ask. Is, is she trying to play with me, or is it just... Oh, when you ask her, she turns. Uh, and it's like, oh, you're here. Uh, no. I, do you want to? Sure, fuck it. Why not? All All right. Right. I have danger sense. I'm in. <laughs> uh, so she's just like, I've been going through your memories. Yeah. Let's play Bear Rangers. Bear Rangers. <laughs> sure uh yeah so i mean you you just start spending some time pretending to be a bear riding well you don't have to pretend because you are a bear riding yeah. mercenary ranger out on the lone treks in yeah. between the vineyards hunting I, down hippogriffs and other deadly threats yeah. i have, have but, the spirit of the bear but you're bear rangers so you're doing like really weird poses as you're talking no no, yep. no. And then you can form a large, a really large bear when five of you get together. <laughs> you know, I would love to see Dreamer Boy try to pull this shit at a national park. Just be like, so which of you is the Red Forest Ranger? <laughs> Who's in charge of this? I would do that and then immediately get kicked out and be fine with it. <laughs> Worth it. Worth it. <clears throat> Worth the 10 bucks and the whole afternoon to do it. Get a GoPro, get catch it in 4K, 60 hertz, live, drummer boy removed from Yellowstone. <laughs> uh, hey man, at least they just kicked me out and didn't turn into a giant version of whatever they are and kill hey, me. Listen, I don't know if you know this, but humans who become rangers do not gain the ability to form into giant robots. Well, TV told me differently, okay? Yes, well, TV tells you a lot of things. Yeah, that's true. Um, when all of you wake up in the morning, Riverin, Halfling Riverin, uh, is is using some of Tiefling Riverin's old clothing, which seems to relatively fit. Um, and she's she's just helping Kelly make breakfast for everybody. Mm -hmm. Wait, Halfling? Yes, she's turning to Halfling. Mm -hmm. Would she oh, okay. I miss I miss her she last time. Yeah, she like re yeah. She like, yeah she's now you a young adult halfling rather you burn, than you burn a... your animated shield or whatever to bring her back. Yes. Yeah, I just miss her last time. I'm like, yes. She's okay. a light foot halfling. Oh, and that that druid lady was dead, right? Yes. Yeah. She had a tree spreading out of her mouth. Uh huh. Classic. 
for you, uh, Daka, you feel a sort of rumbling of contentness down the pipeline from which you gain your arcane abilities. Mm -hmm. uh, you successfully finished setting up your five arcane seals, which will now capture all of the suffering and emotion that the goblins feel as they continually retake the fortress and then die. Mm -hmm. As we're like eating breakfast, I want to like scooch over to Daka. I don't want to explain to him my dream and the girl in it, the young girl, and ask him if he has any insight. Kind of just like, you know, he's got the kid or whatever. I'm just like, I don't, I don't really know what to make of it because. He's never, never spent time around children. I'm going to so defer to you, AP, because I have never seen the blue creatures before. Well, she looks like a dwarf girl now. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I would have explained it looks like a dwarf okay. girl. And I mean, I because I think I told him about the first time because I had that vision, whatever, when I touched the box. You know, for me, it was yes. however long, but it was only actually only like, what, two or right. three minutes, whatever. But... With him, and I don't know if he's ever had any weird experience like that with Riverin, or maybe before she existed, or whatever. I don't know. I'm just I'm I, he's at loss for what to do, really, or like what what if there might be any hidden meaning in it or anything. No, as far as I'm concerned, that's your that's your Sarkor. We're not mm -hmm. giving it to Stalvin Black. Yeah, well, it's, it's there was it's no hammer. It's, it's the contract's it's void. It's definitely odd. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure what to make of it. I'm keeping you surprised as many changes. I'm just confused. I was expecting, honestly, I was expecting a hammer to be. Me too. I would have loved to have a second hammer. But what's better than one hammer? Two <laughs> hammers. It's true. And then I'm going to dive into my breakfast. It's a it's a medley of bacon and ground beef. Oh, a very a very good like a great. This appeals to the dwarf. This is a great like post drinking binge. Heavily heavily spiced. Yeah, yeah. I'm all about it. During breakfast, I could like sit down near River and be like, "If you have any questions, you can ask them whenever you want." Oh, um, so you're my father. And the voice in my head is also my father? He is the source of my power, yes. Okay. Well, I, you know, I'm, I'm getting some memories. Riven, Riverin has two dads. Um, I don't Tell really have normal. any questions. I just, I feel like I can trust you. And Kelly. I feel like I can trust the two of you. There's a there's a little like like you know camera behind the shoulder thing of Kelly just being like. I mean, uh, this yeah. scene is 100 <laughs> percent from the office. Well, and yeah. in, the, in the background, you just see a tear fall from Finley's eye. Like well, you haven't spent a lot of time with her. Yeah, fuck me. I've spent a little time. I taught her how to like throw axes. <laughs> That's pretty much yeah. our the limit of our bonding. Yeah, well, I'm gonna tell her like. Do you remember anything of your former life? Yes, I remember. It's probably safe to assume that Finley is wrong. <laughs> Aww. Mm. Well. I kick a rock and, like, turn away. Well, Finley can also turn into a bear, so you better listen to him. She stands up and goes next to you, Finley, and holds out a hand. I take her hand. She says, holding hands is for family and friends. I think I like you now. No, I know I like you now. I remember that you trust my father. And I've, I tried to save you many times. I don't remember that, but maybe I will. I hope you do. And I... Like, her hand is in mine, and I put my hand on top of hers. And then I give her one of those little 
chin punch things that you do to a kid, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> Go get him, yeah. champ. That's right. <laughs> Little do you You're know like, that sets yeah. off the, uh, what's the, uh... No, I want an alternate fiction. <laughs> Hellish Rebuke. self-destruct. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Hellish Rebuke, yeah. Oh, an alternate fiction where uh, Finley goes, yeah, and he's a cat druid. And he's got little cat ears and a cat tail. <laughs> oh, every you ep- every sen- you every n word that he every n sound that he makes turns into a yeah. <laughs> so he's just like, I'm yeah at fault, officer. <laughs> right now, right oh, now. I want this to happen. Tabaxi well, Finley it's just allowed tabaxis, man. Then you got it. I didn't say Finley you could will... play a tabaxi. You can be a tabaxi if you want to. It's pretty. A tabaxi monk a gem. with a 300 foot run range who always knocks whatever is on a table off and then stares at it when it falls. Hmm. I'm playing a tabaxi monk in another game. The... Yeah, it's know. literally like, how far can you run? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I can run through time and space itself. Take enough level of fighter to get action surge. <laughs> So you get another action. Nice. Take, uh, uh, take a level in rogue. I'm gonna I just got the at... I just got the ability that allows you to run on water too. So uh, it's just like uh, <laughs> Tabaxi Jesus, make it happen. What yeah. languages does River know? Does does those change? You have no idea what language. The only spoken common to you. So we know she speaks common. Yes. Yeah. Well, she's been communicating with you in common. So yes. I'm gonna grab the book that had the symbol in it that killed her. Like that spell? Yeah. I'm gonna ask her if she can read any of it. Um so she begins looking through it. I believe it's written in goblin, and it also is in the magical language of spell books. So she says, I can I can interpret some of this. Like yeah. this here and this. Um, it looks like show, this is a spell book. I show her the spell that like was the death spell. Oh, uh, the symbol? <laughs> I don't know yeah. that that's in there. There was there was one that it was just symbol. Oh yes, then it is in there. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it will take her hours to decode the spell. Something like eight hours to translate it, essentially. But I, I'll show her that page and be like, "This, we need to get you able to protect yourself because this." And I'll tap the page is what we could not protect you from last time. I don't know when, if we'll ever get lucky enough to meet a generous halfling druid that will bring you back again. She was a goblin. She was a goblin? Oh, what I rolled determined her race today. Yes. Or like, I'll just say like, we'd, we won't find anyone that generous. I, I won't count on finding anyone that generous again. So we need to make sure you can protect yourself if need be. So she turns to look at you and gives you a nod, but she says, I think, I don't know, but I feel like people are better than what you're letting on. Like, maybe I've met a lot of people who've been nice. Do you remember how many people you've met? I I have bits and pieces. an old man in a nice house a young woman on a trail well they're not all as nice as you think they are and only a fraction of the nice ones would give themselves up to revive someone they didn't know So she leans in close to you and says, I don't think she was supposed to die. That's not part of the spell. Well, she had a tree growing out of her, and that was, that's kind of our thing, you know? She uh, takes your elbow and, and makes a not at all casual attempt to drag you away from the rest of the party. You're like, Okay. Uh, And she says privately, the unnamed mask, he is the only one with power over my soul. 
gave it to him before I was born. It was either him or a, another hag. I'm not. I'm not complaining. But in order for him to release that, a price had to be paid. Hmm. Well, in any case, we will do our best to not make that happen again. Yes? She nods. Now... <laughs> This whole time, I feel like there have been really strange cuts to facilitate this next scene. At all of the camera angles have been catching all of you sitting around the campfire, uh, but they always have one blind spot that they haven't showed yet. And while the rest of you are having real personal moments with Riverin, there's just a goblin with a spoon just like eating something and looking at everybody like he doesn't understand what's going on. <laughs> It's, uh, He's sitting there in dirty rags with a stick. A stick that used to have a whole bunch of eyes in it. Yeah, it has. It still has the alcove where the eyes were were stored. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, he's just you know got the stick leaning against a stump that he's sitting on and just kind of watching why it. He's like a evil baby Yoda. Remind me to buy you some new clothing. By the way. Okay. We can't have our general running around in rags now, can we? Yeah, you kind of look like shit. Usually that's well, my job. Oh. Uh, when when Daka the first comes time back, I've seen the sun, so. When Daka comes back, he'll like stop beside him, like kind of like do the side eye, look down and up, and then press to digitate him clean. <laughs> He's like, he nods, right? Because this is a spell that he used to be able to do until like yeah. a few hours ago. Uh, and says, ah. Magic, yes. I, uh, you know, for a long time in the darkness, I thought one day I would conquer this, all of this. But we're only a few steps outside of the fortress, and already I can see that it's a big world. Oh, it is much larger, and you will see a whole lot of it with us. And to be honest, there's not much to be gained from conquering a hold that has been dormant and empty for who knows how long i've gained great power but more importantly i lived i lived yeah now you live out here you can build something for yourself with our help you know it's like yeah that's right deus volt deus volt technically so what is our next step like out of character here where are we where do you guys want to go um we had a lead going into the halfling lands didn't we <laughs> we had two leads a we, while ago we could go back and visit ago. valdella's shop where the other crystal is to see if we can gain any information there or we can go north towards where the other dude told us to go I'm I'm a because little I, curious how I do not want to go back to Stalin Black at all because we're not holding up our end of the bargain. Partly because he didn't, because the hammer isn't there, but have we touched the crystal with Riverin before? Nope. No. I'm curious to see whether or not our little goblin friend and Riverin will have the same ability to choose the better version of themselves when we touch the crystal. I don't think she would unless she has the symbol on her because she's just bound to me. Yeah, she's not bound to the whole timeline thing. I would be like interested, but I'm not actually going to do it. Like, see what would happen if I became like a cleric or a wizard, someone not spin attached the wheel, to the wheel, spin the wheel, spin like the someone wheel. not attached to the archfey at all. Yeah. Like, what would happen there? But I'm not going to do it because I promised I would. Well, from, from what I understand about how that works the archfey is resets every time we reset he's like stuck here I'm like that, that's sure, from what i understand about it i'm pretty sure they're outside of time because i've met agents of the archfey hundreds maybe thousands of times and they remember everyone that's what i'm saying like they they uh they they're stuck in the same thing that we are like the loop 
where whenever we see time reset, they see it as well, but they remember it. So like, I remember like basically there was a, there was a line that Arthur said a long time ago, which was like, basically anyone here is kind of like stuck on this plane forever, uh, tormented in this endless looping thing and where the, where the sort of the pivot in that when it, when it chooses to loop and when it doesn't. So, mm -hmm. but so she might just, she might just be in the world then if you're not connected to her anymore still. That's an interesting thought though. What do you guys think though? Go into town and try to like go to Valdella's shop, and maybe pick up some magic items. Now that we have like, we have all that gem dust. It's How much do we cool. have of that? Sure, we could figure something out. Yeah. How much do we have of that? Uh, we collected a fair amount of it. Let me write it down. <laughs> so we have, okay, we have 200, 210, 260, 360, uh, 1,360. Yeah, 1,360. And then we have 111 EP, which is what, Arthur? Electrum. Electrum. It's worth yeah. five gold. Five gold? Okay. And let me just do some quick math real quick so we can work out how, exactly how much we have. That highlighted stuff People is just dust, right? Because we had we would have to go into town to like yeah. actually find someone to buy it off us. Correct. Uh, okay. So we've got the we've got do we still have those gems? Yeah. Everything in the group inventory is the stuff we have right now. All right, so it's accurate. Got uh okay, so Plus one thousand. Plus. Okay, we we have roughly two thousand two hundred gold pieces, so it's not a huge amount. It's not really anything we can get like any cool magic items with level. Um. So yeah, maybe maybe we find some lucrative deals or something like that. But I, I think it would be interesting to, uh, cause I, I'm, you know, now that we've had that, uh, Christmas break or whatever, I'm kind of, I'm kind of a little lost as to where we're at in terms of the grand plot. I didn't say uh, it at the beginning of the episode, but what I, what I wrote down right here is that mm. we have been killing for like seven episodes straight. This is going to 100% be a downtime episode. Yeah, this is gonna be I don't have any combat sure. encounters planned yeah. at all. <laughs> we need to chill the F out. You guys got your, you got a double level, I think, going into that uh, mine. Yeah, yeah, we did. So I'm, I'm interested in going back to town. Um, and just sort of See what's going uh, getting, on, right? getting, getting, seeing what's going on, getting our goblin bro up to running, up to snuff, maybe going to see the princess again, the fire princess. I don't know. Cause mm. we took, what, what happened last time we talked to her? Cause I, I honestly don't remember. We talked you, to her. You, you not two talked went to her in this time loop, but you do yeah. have yeah. a letter introducing yourself from the count. Mm. But we did talk to her previously, right? And what yes. did she say yeah. to us? In other timelines. Yeah, you talked to her in the timeline where we were statues. Yes. I believe. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I, I thought, thought we I thought when I thought when we revived you guys that you guys came with us. I think it was no, we or... we went just us two. Because it took us three years to do the thing. Yes. And then we've touched a crystal since and changed. So we're in a new timeline. Right. Okay. I mean, that might be worthwhile doing going back to her because that's, you know, we have the, the crystal lady there with all the magic items and stuff. So, mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Well, I think that's where we go, but we need to get food stocks. Yeah. We got to, unless you want to do some hunting or whatever. I, I mean, we could on the way back. Okay. I mean, it's whatever. Plus, we also this is the timeline where everything's fucked. So, we also have the um, we could follow up with the crazy lady. The uh, remember she got we we took her into that place, and then the dude was like super powered this time around for some reason. Oh yeah, she's up. she's gone. We don't know where she is. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like we could follow up leads on her. Yeah. You mean Lysidia? 
Lycidia, it took thank me you, so Desen. long to figure out who you're talking about. The crazy yes. lady. But there was, this is like the ghost and is it the ghost and the vampire that we let know that um, Silver uh, Blade is still alive? A wraith and a vampire, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Did we have a way to contact them? Not really, did no, we? No. The last like solid piece of like stuff we got was to go north to these crystal with the um orcs, half orcs. <gasps> That's right, yeah. Oh, we should totally we should totally do that. We should totally head up there. Yeah. One hundred percent. Like that's that like talk to all those orc people up there. Like one hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yep. And if we're not gonna go through like the demon wastes, then we have to do the the left side or the right. What Catch a it? boat all the way up, right? It was yeah. Yeah. So we have to go. Yeah, to, like, I'm totally. The clans of the because we did talk. Up. We did. We did talk to that dude, and he did invite us, but we had to go somewhere to meet him first, or something like that, right? Yeah. I don't. Yeah. It's well, been we had to like. What was it? We had to give them something. Do we have? Did we get something from him that we have to like go up there and like show? It was. It was. It was like a his dagger or something. Yeah. He yeah, gave to, to me. Holy simple. Yeah. And he said something about like you know, um. He know yeah he had a lot of information about it and because they did a, they've been living around this crystal for a while now that's right we should totally fucking do that yeah. good good memory there boys oh man okay so what I, we I, should do is head all the way west to the seaborn and then mm -hmm. north to cleanse of the flow to get around the mm -hmm. demon whatever yeah. yeah pick up Babar on the way through reunite the crew you know that's that's other way. That's in the oh. deserts. Oh, sorry, west, right? Yes, no. Yeah, go to the map that we've never been to before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to get to the other other map you've never been to before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to stop in a village, there is one one day's travel away. Uh, if you just want to stop in like some Thorps or Hamlets, like small collections of houses and try to buy food along the way, you can also attempt that. Uh, or with a survivor check, you can attempt to sustain a party of six. It's going to be well, much more difficult than normal because you you have six people in the party now. If if we're going to travel with this goblin, he needs to be better dressed. Like it, like I don't think they're gonna and on a leash. Well, not know about on a leash. He's. He's he's probably got so much information. Like we'll probably ask him about information later on and all that stuff too. But he's one of us now. Like he resets. So you put a him half, in a papoose. Half plate papoose. Yeah. A, a floating a floating baby carriage. You know? Yeah. You just yeah. put him on your shoulder and you can just sit there and fire spells off. I would like to see the goblin. <laughs> also, we should get that him. That was a, a really good Werner Hortzak. That was an awful one. <clears throat> Bounty hunting is a dangerous profession. <laughs> dangerous and complicated profession. Yeah. Um, okay. So, so maybe we go to the maybe we go to the village. So we're right? we're here, correct? Yes. There's a village so we... just southwest of you that you can get to within one day. Yeah. Uh, Wait. Do you guys have a map or something? Because I don't have a map. You might yes. be on the layer. Um. Are we not on a different right? layer or something? No. Are you on the overworld map? No, I just see gray, gray space. Try reloading. Oh, okay. Sure. That work? Hmm. I still load. Ah, yeah. Now I see it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, now. Mm -hmm. So we are here currently, and right. we want to go here. What was, was this the place with the Fey Temple over here? Uh, no, but it was it was in this general area, yeah. uh, up in here. So we're in this gray space here, yeah. Correct. Yeah. I thought we we're somewhere over here, to be honest. Okay, yep. that, all right. Okay. So yeah, let's uh, let's just go that way, I guess. Yeah. 
Um, so I'll I'll spend the morning and I'll I'll resummon um, Gygax as well. Uh, yeah. Um, Gygax and what do you guys have? Like a horse? We no, we just have Gygax. Okay, oh, so God. Gygax is pulling the cart. Yeah, Gygax right. is the only thing we have. We don't have a horse anymore. Uh, so. The goblin will ride on the cart. Uh, Riveron will walk. And you kind of make a formation. Where is everybody else in this formation? I will uh, be walking right behind the carriage or the cart or whatever. Okay. I'm going to be up. I'm going to be up front a little bit. I'll be on the back of the cart, and if everyone looks like she's getting tired, then I'll jump off and throw her on the cart and walk. She doesn't seem like she is. She's, she seems uh, to be in pretty good condition. I think I have the highest. She's also support. a halfling, though, no. so she's got like reduced movement speed, correct? Yes. Uh, yeah. But Gygax is not exactly the speediest uh, creature, creature while dragging a cart behind him. Yeah. Um, It's not a super big problem. She does struggle a little bit to keep up, but She's a healthy adult, so. Uh, Igram? Um, I think I've got probably high, probably in front because I've got highest. I think I have the highest survival. I okay. Know. I don't think that's changed. Yeah, I mean, I'd be up the front as well. All right. So about an hour into your journey, uh, your friend Haig clears his throat and says, "Does anyone have paper and ink, which I might borrow?" Uh, yeah, I, I pull out my writing utensils. I thank you. You're welcome. What are you writing? I think it would be best for me to gather my thoughts. It has been a complicated day. And... Ref reflection will help you understand the, the ebb and flow of time. Yes, and it will I will help you. Transitioning between gods, and it is a chaotic period. Oh, if you need insight, I am here for you, friend. I will turn to your spiritual counseling if I find myself lost. And then I'll head back to the front. So he lays down in the back of the cart and puts the paper on the floor and just starts writing like that. Legs kicking occasionally. Uh, no, I mean, he's not a child. He's several hundred years old. <laughs> you don't have to be a child to, to want to do that. I do yeah. that all the time, my friend. So I was at this party and like, it was so bad, but it was pretty good because I, I was the boss. But then my friend Kelly came over, <laughs> like kicking his feet. <laughs> Oh, now, now you just make me remember the other dragonborn lady that we yeah. couldn't convince to come with us. God yeah, damn yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, uh, when you make it into the town, it looks like a caravan is preparing to leave the town. Uh, and someone wearing a sword uh, and nice clothing. We're talking... Not quite King Joffrey when he's a little kid in Game of Thrones level. Is this is this Vibro Sword guy that <laughs> Kelly was trying to get with last time? No, no, different village. <laughs> uh, but he approaches and says, "I am the lord of this particular town, Lord Brihith. Welcome to Brihith Village." Oh shit! You remind me. I got I got the fucking thirst back, don't I? Okay. <laughs> uh, what race is this dude? Uh, he's a human. Okay. Um, we're talking almond eyes. Uh, you know what I'm going nice, to ask. Nice thing. eyebrows. Yeah. Uh, wildly curly hair. He looks like he's... It's hard to tell because the clothing that he's wearing is very, you know, not revealing of his body shape. But he's got a strong set of shoulders on him. It makes it for a very plainer existence. <clears throat> nice. Plainer existence. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we've been fighting in a dungeon for seven weeks. Uh, so Kelly needs to let off some steam. So he, she's going to, um, you know, uh, put on a smile and uh, introduce herself, first and foremost, and uh, ask where he's heading. Ah, well, it's the princess's birthday in six days. 
Oh, are we, are we, is this the flame princess that we're talking about? Arthur, yes, of or? course. Vidalia Magnar. Yes. Yeah. Uh, as she, you must know, of course, that she holds a competition every year to see who will win her, her hand in marriage. That only someone who can defeat her in single combat can marry her. Uh, traditionally, and she has set her foes on fire. Yes. As as he says this, Jacob just. <clears throat> Are you, uh, I mean, are you planning on attempting? I mean, to take her hand? Oh, 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 no. I am, but, uh, oh, you were talking to him. No, no. Hmm. Are you resistant to fire? Uh, when I'm angry, I am. I'm He's resistant not, to everything. He was not psychic. expecting this as very well. Um,. I, I think I've, I think back to the uh, the uh, I have a flashback to the uh, the the inside of the uh, keep where the guy threw two fireballs at me at point blank range and I just didn't give a fuck. Yeah, so, that's true. Yeah, he he looks you over with a hand on the top of his pommel and gives you like a side eye and says, "You do seem to be a tra uh, traveling band of worthy warriors. Can I ask where you hail from?" I'm just in the back, just. You come from uh, a mountain? Yeah. Which mountain? Around Bondarok Way. Oh, from the south. Freeholders. Yes, that would explain your curiosity. We've just been solving a few local problems. Well, if you've solved those problems, I appreciate it. I don't it remember posting the any bounties on on the, the any guild or asking for any night help but uh if you've helped us uh take this and he pulls out a bag and ships a few coins into it and hands it over to you looks like it's got I'm... about five gold is there Thank you very much is there a uh like a i guess kind of like a bounty board thing like oh these you know no there's nothing for... like that but when you start looking around you notice the merchant that you found in the ruins in the, the mm -hmm. dwarven fortress ruins is loading a wagon full of stuff uh he hasn't noticed you yet okay um i do want to ask him man i want to ask him about the ask him about the keep here the uh the keep for, what kind of keep uh the one formerly full of goblins you're like uh well I must admit, I, I don't know anything about what you're talking about. Uh, mm. But we have been having occasional goblin raids every few uh, seasons. From the northeast? Well, they just happen throughout the town. But mm. um, if you give me a few minutes, I could summon my sage and see if he can get the records. What you say might be possible from the northeast. Hmm. If it was from the Northeast, they won't be happening very often, if at all, anymore. And that coin is well earned. Well, they started it. Uh, he they is were in your pleasantly house, puzzled. He's got a weird expression on his face, like... Mm -hmm. They were in his house, so point to Agram. <laughs> That's not my house. You all seem very eccentric, but effective. It's been a long day. Have you ever considered becoming knights? Yes, once in a lifetime. Have you ever considered that we're not knights? Or, I mean, we are knights? Um, I'd probably I mean, recognize I... you if you were knights. Yeah, I don't have any fancy paperwork. I have... Aren't knights. <laughs> I've got paperwork, and I dump like 50 pages of shit. You just vomit an entire library's worth of... <laughs> uh, I haven't seen you on the front lines, but if your knighting was recent, I suppose it's possible. What are the requirements? To become a knight? Well, you have to oh, yes. swear an oath of fealty to the well, king. Naturally. Uh, then there's also some uh, binding magical stone. It is binding, yes. Right. I mm -hmm. with the dwarven. That's as far as that as far as I got. I uh, I didn't want to go as far as binding my eternal soul to a stone. I understand. And it takes Not forever. Is... I want to ask him if he's ever heard of the Black Steel Company. Uh, so he says, "Yes, the the 
a dwarven mercenary? Mm, I'll show him my tattoo. Uh, he's like, I heard they, they disappeared 80 years ago. Uh, yes, yes, we lost. It was quite a, quite a battle, but uh, membership numbers couldn't keep up. I, I mean, they're quite ancient and storied from what I recall. Are you... Days of glory! Get the group back together? Re reform? No, no. Maybe. Maybe one day. We're on a reunion tour out to the west. <laughs> reunion tour. Oh, God. So he says, listen. I've got a second daughter. She's human. Not a, not a dwarf like yourself. But she's handy with weapons and always causing trouble. You know, independent sort of spirit. Well. If you're looking to reform the unit, if you were considering accepting or in uh, citizenry. Oh, we accepted all kinds. As long as you could be, as long as you had use. <laughs> but, if you're uh, sticking around, around until the end of the day. I want to make sure to take, what's this guy's name again? I'll take uh, he's only giving you his first name. Uh, sorry, his last name. His name is Lord Brahith. Okay, Lord Brahith. Uh, I'll, keep, I'll, I'll tell him I'll keep it in mind. Um, currently on some other business, but if it happens, I'll definitely make sure to let him know. Just come back to Brahith Village anytime. Uh, I'll speak with my daughter about it. She might be interested in such a lifestyle. Excellent. I'll make sure to, I'll make sure, like, note of, like, writing his name down. Like, I'll make sure to keep you appraised. Yes, she also chafes at the idea of taking an oath, which is irksome to me. I would hope that all of my children would succeed me. But, uh... Well. Oh, uh, you know how kids are. Now you he, need a horse to He points water. to the goblet and to, <laughs> and to Reverend. I wish, I wish, uh, it'd be really funny if Finley was still a halfling. Yeah, we, <laughs> we just have a so trail sorry. of children following us now. Yeah. <laughs> Pied Piper for children. I must admit, I've never seen such a unusual mount before. This is one of your freehold. I've heard that there's druid problems down there. No we, problem uh, with druids. Guys, when, did, when did we get, um, sorry. I just forgot the fucking ant's name. Gygax. 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 Jesus Christ. I was like, I know it. We got him in Sunpath Empire, didn't we? Or was that before them? You got him in Freehold. No, we got, we got him in Freehold. Yeah. yeah, you got uh, him from okay. Half Elven, the Druid. Look, it's, it's been a yeah. while. Yes, I know. We're, this is episode 45. <laughs> back, so, back in my day. <laughs> so this is, this is, again, a quirk. Back when of, I was a ranger. <laughs> back in my ranger days. So this is, again, a quirk of uh, what I have to do these days. So uh, Kelly will, will brighten up and say, oh, you noticed, did you? Of course. Uh, my eternal companion here, Gygax, actually comes from a completely another plane, celestial plane, in fact. Ah, I myself am able to... I That I am. Good man. I, I am. Yeah. Uh, so while this is happening, there's a voice whispering in your ear, Kelly, just saying, mm. show him the sword. Show him the sword. Help me out. Show, show me. Do it. Glad I don't have Do this it. fucking sword. Uh, and, then I, and then I'll be like, um, would you like to compare some stuff? Uh, I pull out my sword. And I was like, <laughs> show I see your sword is as you. big as mine. Do you set the yeah. sword on fire? Yes, of course. All right. Uh, yeah. In your mind, you hear someone shouting, Alka the Glorious! Is there like a sweet guitar riff? Like... No, no one else hears it, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, he unbuckles his sword hilt. This is just like an impressive sword indeed. Such great magical power. I'm afraid that my uh, my father's blade is of no compare, but he, you know, he shows you three inches of steel. You can see that there's a very fine pattern set into it the so the steel itself is like wavy in a kind of katana way mm -hmm. uh, so it, I'll, I'll say to him if he only shows like a little bit i'll be like i'll come now don't tease a girl show me the whole thing yeah so he takes the whole thing and holds it out mm -hmm. uh, if your curse if your curse is not called i'll show you mine if you show me yours <laughs> that's not 
<clears throat> it's not bad, yeah. I, I remember when I made this character and Arthur's like, okay, here's your curse, Dave. And I'm just like, all right. <laughs> I'll take it. I just <laughs> rolled it, man. I of, rolled of all, all, the, of all the people of us to get it, like it, 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 have it. Uh, I, you know, I know I wouldn't do it justice. He's looking at three foot of steel. Uh, it seems to have been fine crafting into the blade to cut. It probably has ruined the sword as like a long term murder machine, but it looks mm -hmm. good. It looks good. It you know it's like a weavy uh, uh, wavy rune runic down the line of the blade. So here's my coup de gras, Arthur, yeah. and I will put a roll to it if you like as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I say to him, um, you know, I'm actually fairly good at handling swords. If you ever want to give me a go, I'd be willing to show you what I can do. Is there any it's subtlety in this at all? Christ. No. No subtlety whatsoever. Uh, have you ever been hit in the face with a cast iron pan? <laughs> you ever been he reaches a sword dollars? and buckles it to his belt and wraps an arm around your shoulder and begins walking away with you and he says, I'm happily married, uh, but allow me to say this. Uh, if you are into a man of my type, my eldest son has come of age. <laughs> And it's difficult to find uh, someone, <laughs> how do I say this politely, in a way that won't offend you? Experienced! Yeah, is that what you say? It's, I, when he gets married and inherits my title, I want whatever noble he is married to to not be disappointed in his capacity. <laughs> um, I understand what I'm offering you is unusual. Between you and I, I must, I must decline. But if you would like a taste of this, but younger, I can. <laughs> Doctor brings out a notebook and like has I love this. puts another strike so, in the rejected column. <laughs> so this is tally. this. This is the other coin, the other side of Kelly's uh, curse, right? Oh, whatever you call it, madness, I guess. Yeah. Uh, where, you know, she oh, yeah, has right. to be viewed as the most uh, beautiful, smart, intelligent, blah, 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 person ever. So being offered the, the son instead of having uh, the dad is probably the most infuriating part. So she'll, um, you know, stop forcefully take his hand off right, of her, yeah. his, he her takes shoulder. Step back. He says, I'm, I'm sorry. I seem to have offended you. Uh, you have indeed. I choose who I wish to be with, and I, I am not someone that you can... Oh, you shut your mouth, good sir. I am not someone that you can give away to your son as a practice horse. <laughs> Holy I'm not here. Yeah, I, I am not here to make sure that your son is capable of pleasing anyone. So you just lost your chance. And I tell you what, you're going to spend the rest of your life laying in bed with your eyes open, thinking about what could have been. You're a fool. And then I'll walk away. <laughs> What 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 bounty is placed on Kelly for murdering a civilian like that? <laughs> In fifty years, there's going to be candles that smell like this, and she gestures. <laughs> <laughs> um, you missed out. <laughs> he seems a little dumbfounded uh, and ashamed of himself. Was that a fucking Gwyneth Paltrow goop reference? Did yeah. you just like walk away? <laughs> Holy shit. You know what? I'm actually I'm 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 pretty I'm pretty confident now that Gwyneth Paltrow is pretty much Kelly's spirit animal at this point. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, we gotta so kill Kelly. I mean Kelly. it's gonna be <laughs> I was gonna say. Well, we got we gotta put him down and just break out the axe. I mean, just it's a shame, but you know. It would be, it would be, hey, it would be, you know, it's too bad. You, right you guys are right next to me when we're selling cart nuts and you didn't abandon <laughs> me then. 
Look, no, don't shit no. on our entrepreneurial spirit, all right? Yeah. A after this whole <laughs> thing happens, I'm going to look at it and be like, we're good. We're good. Like, I, that, we're good. I don't have anything against right. it, man. So he walks over to uh, the cart. He's not really sure who's in charge when Kelly's not around. And he says, were you looking to make any purchases? Uh, it'll Is be difficult the merchant to find. guy? No, it's still the Lord. I'll, like, point to the merchant. Oh, uh, yes. Who's that? Um, Thomas. He's a, uh, well, despite his advanced age, he's still a apprentice merchant. It seems as if he's quite good at his job. He often has much more coin than I would have suspected. And why is he still apprentice? Well, I f he has some trouble following the rules. Oh. I get I'm gonna the walk idea over to that Thomas. he doesn't always pay the taxes for passing through the lands that he goes through. He just always seems to have more money. Either, perhaps it's just my suspicion. I'll admit that we mm -hmm. haven't always seen eye to eye. Does Let's that mean he sells at discounts? Even the Joker was scared of the IRS. <laughs> uh, I, he must be an unusually convincing man, but. I've never been convinced by any of his arguments, so perhaps he just has a charm about him. Uh, if you're looking oh. to purchase from him, you could certainly do so. He has my blessing. Um, or you could simply buy from me. Um, I understand if I've offended your group collectively and you'd rather work through a proxy. I just assumed you were the mayor or some politician from this yes, town. Yes, I, I am the lord of this village. I didn't think you were a merchant. We've met Sir Rorick, and he didn't have anything to sell. Right, right click. Well, uh, show me your wares. Well, so listen, when you say well, Sir Rorick, his face is like, oh, fuck that guy. Jesus Christ. Why Why would a lord stoop to merchant, uh, mercantilism? Um, interesting you would say that mercantilism is a lord's yeah. game. Yeah, as soon as he says that, I'm going to look offended. Oh, only... Lords should have the economic wherewithal to. Of course, some commoners could rise through the ranks, like Thomas, uh, with fortune and favor, but we are the ones with the perspicacity, alacrity, the, the wealth, and the uh, contacts to be truly successful. It's all about sure. logistics. Yes, exactly. Right, I get I get logistics, but but why do the actual buying and selling? Don't you have people for that? I I do, but I rarely get guests like yourself. I expect that what you are going to buy will be quite different from a normal transaction. You don't yeah. seem like the type coming here to buy uh, our famous Brehithian wood. Or if you have any... top shelf goods, then how much for the wood? Well. I mean, technically, we did come here for the wood, but he didn't sell it to us. So, oh, you know. oh, wow. 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 Kelly, Burn. RKO out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> the guy just falls flat, like knocked down in front of us, and I walk over to Thomas. Uh, I'd like to perform medicine check because shots fucking fire on this guy. Just fucking... Dude, if you actually want to go over to Thomas, you Arthur, can. I take him out of the timeline <laughs> so I can do this forever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if he's if he's got goods, I'm if he's I'm all about if it. He's got like I'll say like if you got top shelf goods. I we have coins. Says, my apologies. I, what I have to sell to you personally, I expect will not be top shelf goods. Uh, if you are you looking players. for some of our famous Brahethian lumber, we have both a cut and uncut variety, which we're taking to Magnar. As soon as he uh, says Brie, like just that, that for, I'm like, mm, cheese. I'm thinking about the dwarven cheese now. So when you do that, he says, oh, we do have some, some goat cheese. <laughs> I'll yell over to Kelly, cut or uncut? <laughs> uh, we have several goats, sheep, ox <clears throat> that we are we're taking to Magnar that uh, I'd suspect a group like yourself would benefit greatly from such fresh provisions. You seem a bit not yes. unclean, but I mean, we yeah, do we need we do rations. need provisions. We I'm do tempted, have rations. I'm tempted to offer him 50 gold <laughs> for whatever is in his left pocket. 
<laughs> and I don't know why. But you should not do that. <clears throat> I'll think don't about to, it. Don't go to Vegas, please. Uh, when you mention rations, he says, yes, uh, if you prefer, we could get you some rations. Um, rations I'll say keep this. better on the road. Perhaps, but uh, they're my... Uh, I mean, if we're going to be doing some traveling, having some fresh provisions wouldn't be a miss. Either. I have several in-laws who can prepare you food that will travel well. Perhaps two or three days worth. Or longer. Uh, perhaps we do a longer. lot of traveling. But for that, rations will suit. Why don't you come back to my house? We'll head up back and see what's in my warehouse. I'm done. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we'll get All a couple right. days of fresh food and then get some yeah, rations so, for after that. Uh, other people address him as Lord Culto uh, as he's walking along and he just like waves at people and they're generally cheerful here, but it seems like everybody is doing something here. Whether they're uh, tending to the crops or uh, cutting the wood at a at the logging camp just outside of town or whether they're loading something onto something or you know like into a sectioned area where they're like this is going next to the wagons and someone else will load it onto the wagons the whole town is very busy mm. uh he leads you behind a house that's slightly nicer than all the other houses here but there's nothing pretentious about it it's not two stories uh it does seem like it has a basement but he leads you out back to a very large warehouse um basically like a barn mm -hmm. uh and he says well you can see we uh we've got a lot of goods back here rations which will hold for quite some time uh pigs chickens uh goats selection of cheeses and wines if that's what you're into i must say got a local wine that is passable very passable might i have a taste uh yeah so he like uh picks up a bottle of cranberry colored wine um and just kind of like holds it out for you to hold like give him something to pour it into i cut my hands <laughs> cut my we've hands. got we've got yeah i mean all of you have something <laughs> we have a me everybody has a mess kit i'm pretty yes. sure that's so true you've got a all right fine i'll be civilized <laughs> I'll look time. No, look, if you want to cup your hands, you definitely can. Well, I'm, I'm a druid. I'm totally in keeping with being a druid. Yeah, so yeah. well, uh, he pours it into your hands and like offers some to everyone yeah, else yeah, as well. Put it in a drinking. I imagine my, my mess kit cup would probably be a drinking horn. Very thematic. Do uh, I like it? It's dry, a little sweet. Uh, it's got a nutty flavor to it. As long as it's not too sweet. Definitely not too sweet. I'll take a, uh, a bottle of it. All right, yeah, just, just starts gathering yeah. up any goods that you might buy into a pile near the door. The What's a, so, Arthur, real quickly, just this is this is going to be a real dumb question, dumb logistics question, but um, in this in D and D, just in general, how do you foresee like like fresh meat being a thing? Like, do we take animals with us on the cart? Is that like something you can, do we can feasibly yeah. do? Yes. Yeah. 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 And you kill them along the way. It just happened last night on on the table stop. They brought a chicken with them and then killed it halfway to the next area to make fresh chicken stew. Yeah, yeah that's what I figured. That's what I figured would have to do in terms of. Or you buy salted. In meat. terms of like protect. Yeah, I mean, but that's like not as good. Well, I mean, you could like, you could have it where you could keep you keep fresh pro fresh provisions for a couple of days, and then after that you would have to kick over to rations. But if you're moving, if you're only doing you know four or five days of travel, then it's not that big of a deal, like keeping more fresh goods, I guess. I would think. Uh, and we're going to a boat, yeah, but we've got we've got a long ways to go, so maybe we should get some animals. I don't know. I mean, chickens are really are easy to take care of. But... Yeah. Plus so eggs. Says, Look, get eggs. I'm willing to make you a deal here. I have a chicken cart that I can sell you. Chicken cages already on it. Benches along the back. It seems like your your wagon. When you walked into town, most of you weren't riding on it. A second cart might serve you well. I'll throw mm -hmm. in the chickens with the purchase. 
Do we think we'd need another? Got about ten chickens here. Animal to and cure. I have a donkey. Mm. Just came, just just trained well. He's ready for sale. Got him branded. I could let the whole thing uh, go. Wagon, donkey, 20 chickens, 45 gold pieces. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm down. I mean, because you also, we're going to get eggs from those chickens. Yeah. And any extra we could sell True. when we get to seaborn folk. Can you, any, any chickens you got? I mean, you could sell us feathers to a Fletcher. I mean, there's, you can get. Multiple ways to uh, get the most out of it. I, I, fuck it, why not? I'm down. Because I'm assuming we got to take a boat from clan or from the Seaborn mm. to cleanse the flow. Plus, I mean, who's who's to know if we don't run into another situation like we did at Fort Cuso, where you know, oh, this donkey is now worth ten times as who fucking knows. So you, I, I'm down. I'm down. I yeah. I want to mention because it's been a really long time, but you have heard, and it's actually on the map. Uh, that to get west from Magnar to the Seaborn folk, most people catch a ride on a sail cart. That's right. And the sail carts also go oh, north yeah. up into Orcish lands. That there is a prevailing wind current that's constant around the Seaborn folk that goes clockwise that will take you uh, in the direction you need to go. Is that avoiding the demon yes. wars? Yep. Cool. Okay, so maybe that's the way. But the the question is, do we have to remove all of our belongings before getting on the ship? Yes, because the sail cart is a cart. It's can we? It's its own wagon, essentially. Can we estimate roughly about how far we would, like, how many days would take us to get to to Seaborn Folkland? Yeah, or get to, uh, or at least where we know that, like, their land, like where the cart. Well, if you want to go to Fern Gather, which is the first town you would conceivably run into, and then you could catch a boat north from there, or catch a a, uh, yeah. the road north from there uh, it would take you uh, something like 10 days at a good uh, pace uh, I don't, if we have to abandon everything it's probably not worthwhile buying another car yeah. at least with Gygax you know I can I can unsummon yeah you can shove the them boy. in a pocket yeah yeah so as you're having this conversation, Lord Brahith is just like, "No, why take a sail cart? Go to Fern Gather, get a get a nice vessel north. Take both your carts on board. It's a smooth travel. It'll get you there faster than a sail cart. It'll cost a little bit more, but your standing and ability. Well, our plan was to go get on the boat anyway, right? That was, I mean, that's what we were going to do. Yeah, very well. I mean, mm -hmm. Why would, take a whichever sail way cart? would get us faster you don't need no. that gnomish nonsense mm. you don't exactly need a second card either as you eat the chickens you can create more room for yourself and ride in the cart And Sorry, I keep saying cart, but it's actually a you wagon. You can fit so many yeah. chickens in here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he slaps That's the back true. of it. Well, it's yeah. actually, if it's actually, I mean, if it's a wagon, it's bigger. I mean, then we yes, could, it's big. We could, we could upgrade from that shitty cart to the wagon. Plus, I mean, we could always sell it. I'm sure there's somebody who would buy a donkey and fern gather, right? Yeah. If we had to. Well, if it's 45 gold pieces, we could probably, like, eat stuff on the way there and then get half of our money back when we sell it all. Sure. I mean, if you guys want to do that, that's fine. I mean... Let's talk about your cheese needs. Cheese is going to keep for a long time on a road. Is... I got three wheels here. That'll last the six of you maybe five days if you eat, a, if you eat cheese every single day. <laughs> With like a mouthful, I'm like, I'm eating cheese right now. <laughs> I mean, I want cheese. I mean, cheese it just counts as provisions, right? I mean, that's... Yeah. Uh, a hunk of cheese is its own thing under food, drink, and lodgings. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, but it, it's it's still... And he's like, 
food, you know. As long as you're here, why not some bread? I mean, that's a delicacy that you can't get while on the road. Someone's got to bake that. Bread goes stale. I'll tell you what. Quite quickly. Enough, enough bread and cheese and wine for six days worth. That'll get you to Magnar with time to spare. And I'll I sell you all of that for three gold pieces. Oh, for three gold oh pieces. shit, yeah, Fuck okay. Me. I very, very poignantly, Arthur, mm -hmm. hand him back the same bag that he gave me. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right, he nods as if you have well played, well played. Now updated the group inventory with an appropriate picture. Uh, by the way, Arthur, I have a quick, quick, silly question for you. The sword, is that... Uh, magical item like in like attached to me or like how does that work now the sword is okay so this is how the sword works the sword is a patron it's a yeah. mysterious warlock entity that can grant its power in this case it can only yep. grant its power to one thing and that is the person holding it uh yeah it has power similar to a god but not quite there um mm -hmm. it knows old secrets and such and such and such when you want to you can take another magical weapon and the we your current weapon will take on its properties. It will eat that weapon and become it. So it's what I'm holding is not a flame tooth long sword that is it's a flame tongue attached. short sword. And it short is sword, attached sorry. to you. It's still attuned. This weapon Okay, uh, so yes, you're you're So it's one of the three attunements yes. then. Alcar yeah? the Glorious okay. is attuned to you. Yeah, well, yeah, he was, uh, yeah, I get, I get what you're saying. So it's, it's, that's, both, that's what it's, I was asking. It, it is, it is both an attuned item and your warlock. Yes. Weapon. Hexplay weapon. But there's, there's a thing later on, which is like path packed to the blade or something. Yes. Does that so, make it so that it with disappears that, or like, yeah, how well, does that work? With that, what it does is you're essentially, when you're not wielding it, you're shunting it into an interdimensional you pocket. Can and you can summon it and then resummon it. Summon like, it at like, will. It's gone. It's back. It's gone. Yeah. It's back. So it's like the 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 fighter perk then. The yeah, yeah, it's also very and assassin and style, right? Like you can go to a meeting and be like, I don't have any weapons on me. Yeah. And be like, ha ha, slash. So right now it's an yeah. attuned item. But I assume blade. Once you get as, once you get the pack to the blade stuff, I assume it it'll function like that. And there that are some different. pack to the blade invocations that can improve your weapons. Oh yes, there yep. are. you can also technically summon your weapon, give it to someone else. They can use it, and you can eldritch blast from behind them. And you can also summon the weapon back from them when you need it in a very, yeah. you know. Uh, like... I'm pretty sure I didn't even take Eldritch Blast, so. What kind of warlock are yeah, you? Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> this it's is Kelly been... here, though. Kelly, M Mr. It's... No Range Weapons. If you go very, yeah. you go so... very deep into Hexplay, or not even very deep, you can also summon it and be like, I would like it to be a spear, and it's now a spear. Yes. Or I would like to like, summon it as a uh, bow. For example, I took a Lightning Lure. Cause that sounds like real good time. Like, come here, you stab. Get over here. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, um, can, you can get invocation of Elders Blast. It pulls them to you as well. So yeah, I mean, yeah. I was, but there are some really good ones in there. Like, there's one that allows me to just understand all languages, which is very cool. I'll definitely be yes. taking that. And then, and then there's another one which is like dark vision. I'm like, yeah, okay, that sounds real good. And then there's like, even, I was looking I into it like, I think like level two. Too. Yeah. So I get a, I get a, a, an auto curse that I can use. And at level two, I can make it so that when they're, when they're cursed, they, there's also, but, sorry, I can also throw on like darkness and this dark vision sees through like yeah, magical it's darkness. It's or true sight. Like well, cause devil sight is true sight. Yeah. If I remember correctly. And anyway, enough about that. Let me bring um, us back. So you yeah. owe this guy uh, 45 gold pieces on top sure, of the five okay. you already paid. And you will get one wagon, one donkey. I'll do the group inventory. Yeah. And uh, enough cheese, bread, and wine to last you six days. Uh, and that's when he breaks out the rations. And he's like, well, how many rations would you like? Well, um, I'm, we just started the harvest... Uh, we, sorry, we just started the planting for wet, uh, and we still have some winter crop left over. So the I can make you a deal. They don't deteriorate or anything, right? Correct. So for me, rations are something like um, 
a combination between a fruit cake and a meatloaf. It's basically right. like a, yeah, it's like a hard tack or whatever. Yeah, right? well, no, it's not like a hard tack, but it is. Like, it's like Limbus bread from Lord of the Rings. It's like a bread shaped object that will survive for a very long time and it will taste okay. Yeah, we are going to take a break in just a second. That's why we're just wrapping why don't, up. Why don't we just say like uh, 10 days worth of rations a piece? How much would that for cost? For six people. Um, each ration is five silver pieces uh, times six people is going to be three gold times how many days? 10. Uh, is 30 gold pieces. Okay. He's willing to sell it to you for 25. All okay. Right. Okay. Uh, it's, everything's so this this will be what's going forward. I'm just gonna put in the group inventory. Um and unless we go into a dungeon or something, just assume that it's on the cart or whatever, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. It's not on your sheet, it's not on your person. Exactly. Uh we're real late for our break, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh stick around for the second half in about eight minutes or something.